Hey guys, uh, nice to see you again for part B. I left you off right now. So, as you notice, I would be through the bed and the chair and the book, TV, and but I'm playing the nightstand because you're original one. So, sometimes it's chest. Sometimes you're better off drawing your own. Okay, so now you've seen this. <laughs> Let me turn it around again. Hopefully you guys can see it. I need to check the videos. So here we go. I'm gonna put this a little bit. No, that's good. Can you guys see that? I know you guys are not here with me, but I like to imagine what all my students are right now. So I'm gonna use a transparent ruler. If you don't have one, like I said, use an ID card. Use anything that is plastic or that's a good straight line. So. ID cards are good. Anything that's lying around the house, you use the substitute ruler. I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. So I kind of noticed now I had a little flaws in here. So now I'm going to fix some of these. So I'm going to do the book. Now, my book's not really finished. It's the part. So I'm going to make it look 3D. We have height, as you can see right now. We have height here and width in our imaginary plane. We have a horizon line. Okay, so those of you guys who already jumped the gun, this is how you do my pages. I go to this right here. This is how you do my pages when I draw a book. I come back here. I don't want the pages to look like there's a lot of pages in there. Okay, there we go. I'm not fully. And there's a binding, so there we go. You're going to notice the binding much closer here. Press a little bit down on it, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the vanishing point here. Now, I'm going to go all the way with this. I am just simply going to come down to these corners I made. Okay, maybe cut my book right here. Come down to this, you guys can see that. Come down, bring it up like this. There we go. So I'm gonna hold this up and show you what I've done. See that guys? Okay, so now I'm gonna come down, do the same thing here. Go back to the vanishing point. Be careful, you don't wanna overlap. Bring it down to here. There we go. I'll bring this. See that, guys? What I did there? It all goes to the vanishing point. It all comes down to the vanishing point. Just put a sample. I bring this line down like this. See that? See that, guys? Okay, now bring this on this line right here. Come to my eraser. Erase that. Whoops, sorry about that. I want to give you guys a headache. Okay, so now flip it around, get the angle. We see what there's our book almost there. Not completely, but then I start doing the lines. Okay, we do now when we draw and paint, everything at a distance or color draw is less detail at a distance. The detail is closer to us. So that's where we can see it. I'm tracing my lines right now. So I want to make it look like a book's been around a long time ago. It's been it's a notebook. The book I show you were, well, was my, some relative of mine from a long, long time ago. So now I want to imagine my shadow. My shadow's going to be coming down this way. Even though I wrote the book down there, I'm going to do a soft hatching, cross hatching line. I do use a value so I can distinguish between the dark side and the lighter shadow. There you go. So there's the book, guys. The chair. I'm going to do my chair. Looks like a we go this way. Bring it down to this. 
it's like one of the Olympic photo actual comparison. We have a comparison with the little girls dollhouse chair compared to book. Okay. Everything from the vanishing point, guys. Everything from the vanishing point. It's an exercise for the final project at the end of the month before we get to our comic book. Do you have to use fancy paper? Nah, not for these projects. If you have butcher paper or anything that's you can use, I'm okay with it. Whatever you have lying around the house. Okay, so now you gotta be careful and make sure that these videos don't run too long. See that? We got the chair. I'm going to do the lamp. Going to the this lamp right now. It's going to go this because we're underneath the horizon line. If we were above the horizon line, it would arch this way. That's why I used to do my. I used to draw uh, my draw a garden or something like that. Look like the mushroom. So, yes. And that's kind of nice lines. So you guys already know that I love. I wait till the last minute. I don't like to erase in the middle of a drawing project. Whoops. Maybe we went way too long on that. But that's why I'm sometimes. Let's go with this. Let's go with that. Kind of works in there. It's not an even lamp. It's going to be a square lamp. I see it now. It's going to be a square lamp. I'm not happy with it. What's going on with this angle? Yeah, I can't do so I'm going to have to bring this line, bring the parallel to this. Fix my flaw. I'm going to chop some of this off here. So I can have that illusion of death. And you have to pay for you guys to do that. That's the goal. You see a flaw, fix it and make it work for you. Yeah, we've already used to rule. Okay, so here we go. Here's our two lamps. See that, guys? Okay. I'm going to do the table too. Remember, I'm rushing through this because you guys have only two hours to do this. I have to do this in less than 15 minutes. If not, YouTube will not let me upload it. Because it's free. There we go. Actually, they're helping us public school teachers out during this time of, you know, I'm hearing stories from teachers back east. I thought they were going through stuff too. So, you know, let's, let's be thankful for our lucky stars. Okay, so I've got my table here. Shadow, my shadow will probably be here. I was thinking of my. I liked. I know you got Mr. Ant to do the shadow mask. Come on. I know. So this side will be darker. I'll do the shadow. I gotcha. I hear you. Even though you're not here, I can hear your voices. So. Unless my students, I'll be honest with you. Here we go. So I'm doing the television, guys. So you can see that all these lines are going to the vanishing point, that one single vanishing point. So now I'm not going all the way over there because I don't want to be racing too much. And I don't want to see ghost lines. I'm, so I'll never go over the so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my TV parallel here. See that, guys? Whoops, I'm not happy with this. 
So something that was also not quite nice. Going back here, moved it here. See that? I'm trying to keep this as parallel as possible. So I haven't cleaned my mess yet. See that, guys? Bring in the eraser. Sorry about that. Don't need to shake you guys up. So again, please use these videos. If you think they're cheesy, okay, I'm sorry, but you're gonna find something you might be able to use. Okay, so there you go. Uh, how much time I got left? Oh, okay, I'm good. I think I can still pull up a miracle. So I'm gonna do the. Uh, Again, I'm going up to the vanishing point, guys. And, oops, this ruler is really, really short. I'm bringing the old school one. And you guessed it, probably was my dad's. So, gosh, the dog probably is. So, bring this line here, keep it parallel. I'll bring it down a bit because I don't want it to overlap. So bring this in, make sure it's parallel to this. And yep, we got it. Sorry about that. So I'm going to stop the video for now. I'm going to make a third video in which we're going to finish these and add shadow to it and finish the project. Okay. Uh, I'll see you then. Okay, guys. Take care.